Logical positivism rejected as illegitimate every statement about the world that was not based on direct experience. This position formed the basis of the verification principle. A sentence can be meaningful if and only if it is either empirically verifiable or it can be shown to be true by analyzing the conventional meanings of its signs or symbols. In other words, understanding the meaning of a proposition now required that you know how to verify it. A sentence is only meaningful when we can verify it by experience, by some kind of, you know, uh, visual or auditory or whatever experience. When a sentence can't be verified, shown, proven at least, made highly likely or something by experience, then it's meaningless and just really literally has no meaning at all. It doesn't even get to be false. It gets to be no meaning. It's not that it's wrong, it's just, it's like when a cat purrs. That's not right or wrong, it's just a noise. Logical positivism had a tremendous impact on 20th century philosophy. And for many years, metaphysics was off the table as an area of serious philosophical study. However, when its premises were followed all the way to their logical conclusions, cracks began to appear in the edifice of their principle of verification. If logical positivists rigorously applied verificationist criteria for meaningfulness to physics, for example, they came up against enormous problems. If we say that every electron is thus and so, well, how would we directly observe that? It's not like we can look at them all. We might get little glimmers of evidence, but we couldn't directly observe its truth or falsity in any sort of way. And we can't even directly observe electrons, let alone all of them. So once again, it seems that um, uh, something's really going wrong. Their intention was not to throw out the whole of science and in trying to fall throw out uh, metaphysics, they ended up repeatedly finding themselves under pressure to throw out science too, which was not what they wanted. And they were never able to come up with a formulation of the principle that would sort the right things into the right baskets. They never were able to come up with a principle which put all the metaphysics and the other sort of bad, bad discourse in the one box and the good scientific discourse in the other box. The logical positivists held that scientific hypotheses could be reduced to what they called protocol statements, which are the basic reports of direct observation. These reports form the standard by which other empirical statements are to be tested. This view raised the question, 